Well, he led four laps tonight. Coming from the back of the field, you put on a fun show for us to watch. But, Chase, we just saw you talk to Ryan. We know you guys are good buddies, but yeah. there's no points on the line. But he's got the wrecked race car. Yeah. How do you balance that together? Well, I mean, neither one of us won. I mean, I, that's the big one. But, yeah, I was close enough to drive it in there. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'd be mad at myself for not at least trying. I mean, um, obviously, I don't mean to wreck it anybody much less, especially him uh some guys i wouldn't mind but he's he's not one of them so uh you know hopefully he's not too mad at me i feel like you gotta go for it here in an event like this and in a situation so um i can't be sorry about going for the win but I certainly didn't mean to wreck him drove in there and um yeah just that corner gets so tight and i, I didn't want to just completely jump the curb to the right um, but I felt like I tried to get over there as far as I could to it, and at that point we were coming together at the same time. But, uh, yeah, hate it. Uh, we had a fast Lumar Chevrolet in a position to have a shot at it, so we'll try again uh, Sunday. All right, the 2020 NASCAR Cup champion. Let's go over to Bregan's Matt. Well, the receiving end of that last lap contact, Ryan Blaney, I know Chase said uh, he hates that it happened. You guys are battling for the win. He made the move. Give it to me from your perspective. I mean, yeah, I'd hate it happen, too. Uh, but it didn't work out for either of us. So uh, well, we were just racing hard and you know, a little bit fresher tires there. We, we saved the set and uh, got back to second there. And I kind of, this car was really good. I had to use up a lot to get to them. And I kind of tried to protect, and I drove into the last corner really deep to try to make sure I didn't protect it or get dive bomb like that. And uh, we just came together there. So um, what are you going to do? But I appreciate the, the Penske boys. Doing what they do, I, I missed the turn one over there, leading earlier, and um, they were able to recover for that. So thanks, Great Lakes Flooring and Menards and Ford, and um, learn something for for next week. I think, and uh, excited to get the 500 going this weekend. All right, thanks, Ryan. This might just be the greatest season of all time. We got Denny defending Daytona. We got Joey, Kevin, and the all-time fan favorite. I'm just here so I don't get fined. The best season ever. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.